Solitary confinement is not equivalent to torture, uh, and certainly the other things like forced. What well, we've been doing for the past, we've been doing this in Minneapolis since September of last year. Um, the first portion was really raising awareness. People did not know who Bradley Manning was. Um, it was kind of like showing people the collateral murder video once again to get more people informed. Um, now it's just you know speaking out about what's happening in him while he's being confined. Because a lot of people actually know who Bradley Manning is. We want to say that you know we think that he's being tortured in there, and we believe this is wrong. So we definitely are just trying to put pressure on politicians and you know tell them that we we want the you know people in government to start speaking for him, so we can at least get better conditions right now. Joe. Hi, Bill. You know, we don't allow the video I know. inside I the know. office here. Just I'm not inside right. yet. Well, basically, he gave me an email address to send for requesting an actual meeting. He wouldn't let me request one in there, so got to email them and see if we can get a meeting with her still. Um, we just kind of expressed a lot of concerns we had. We want to get them over to Klobuchar, you know, let her know that we would like, you know, for example, Kucinich to be able to meet with Manning that we want her to, you know, at least consider his, um, what he's being, his, um, eh, excuse me. But, you know, basically consider his imprisonment right now, you know, make sure that, you know, he's being treated well, not being tortured. And, of course, you know, ultimately we would like, you know, her to speak for Bradley Manning, you know, and see that what, he, you know, get him out of there and, you know, basically free him, so. The reason I went is be in there, well, because of Bradley Manning. But I, I just can't believe I'm talking like this in, in a Democrat senator's office. It's a Democrat, for God's sake. How can a Democrat let this go on? I, I will never vote Democratic again if, this, if the Democrats don't do something to help Bradley Manning. He's being tortured, for God's sake. We, made, we asked a question about if, uh, if Senator Klobuchar could support Congressman Kucinich's request for a visit to ascertain uh, Manning's conditions of confinement. And, uh, you know, I don't know that we'll get an answer. I mean, I asked uh, her staffer, Joe, Joe Campbell, if he could let us know what her answer to that is. Um, so we'll see. But I, I think that's perfectly reasonable. And even, I said, even if it's not Kucinich, if she doesn't trust Dennis Kucinich, someone else. But an independent person, not the Pentagon, visiting to make sure that his conditions are not torture and cruel and inhumane abuse. We are here to um, kind of cover this protest for a documentary we're doing. And what's your name? Uh, my name is Sophia. Okay. Oh, I'm Jolene. Can you say it again? I'm Jolene. Okay. And you're here for? Yeah, I'm also here for the same reason. We are all um, in a group. Okay. I'm Tiara. Okay. And I'm Lacey. Um, we're from Park Center Senior High and we're doing a documentary for class. Um, we're supposed to do it on some type of movement, so we chose this as our movement. What, what do you think about what you're seeing today? Um, I think it's interesting that people are actually um, doing something about it. It's not something that you just read about. You can actually see people protesting and demanding a meeting and think, fighting for what they think is right. So I think that's a really interesting part about this movement. I think that um, it is a unique experience for us to see the protest. It is important to remember that democracy, democracy means going and voting once every four years and doing nothing else. <laughs> Free Brad 
Ridley Manning. There's no one around to yell at. It's just like these people. That we're standing here this week. Here's Bradley Manning back his clothing. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. Well, I think people should be sending underwear to Obama and Amy to remind them that that's Free not, Bradley that's Manning. torture. And they should bring them down to Guantanamo and give them to him. They've taken away his underwear at night and then he has to report in the morning Free news Bradley uh, outside the cell. And then they say that if he goes beyond the barrier where they can see him and he has to come back out naked. Like, this is crazy. Once was bad enough, but they're doing it to him every single day. Eight hours, totally naked.